Future viewers, welcome to the next boss map, and the first boss map, for that matter. The final map of Chapter 2, and let's take a look at this bazoo guy. He has Bolt, which is eh, and Attack, which is very dangerous, but he never uses it, so never mind. Also, you know you're good at firing arrows and that you're pretty strong when your arrows can damage a skeleton like that, so good job. And speaking of centaurs, we got these new knights here, which also have the defense boosting spell. I wish my centaurs had that. Of course, this one decided to just attack normally, so no big deal. And this priest. I was trying to secure that kill for Mayfair, but the priest said, No, I'm not healing myself or doing anything like that. Uh, instead, I, I swear the priest knew that I would counterattack and finish him off before I could get the kill for Mayfair. That's... that's cunning. And also... I, I don't know. I was a little annoyed. And so that's... that's how things are on the left side. Um, I was a little concerned because Stock had low defense and they could have decided to focus their attacks on him, but instead they did this. Um, well, bravo. Bravo, you guys. I was talking about how smart your AI was last time, and then you have to go and do that. Also, these Pegasus Knights started in the upper left corner, but then they just kind of flew past my team to the left and headed straight for Nick. Well, they didn't hit him very hard, so it wasn't a big deal. I also lured out this Master Mage after all that and uniting the parties again. This seems like a good lure, everyone was in Shining Force formation, but then I realized if I got a really unlucky turn rollover, that Master Mage could have ended the battle right then and there. Of course, that would have to be extraordinarily unlucky because I did beat up that Master Mage quickly. With that new ac axe, Roos is back to um, hitting like you just saw. And I was scared of Bolt 1 because I didn't remember exactly how much damage it dealt. Uh, turns out that was a crit and it's actually just kind of okay. And also, I had enough hitting power so that Bazoo uh, didn't last forever or anything. Turns out Bolt 1 is kind of a ripoff MP wise. Um, Bolt 2 is amazing though. And also, I discovered that despite being a spellcaster boss, Bazoo did not have any magic resist. That would have been useful information, because his defense was actually pretty decent. Still, getting that kill for Wendy? Not bad. Sleep is bad as a spell, though. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, here's where we find out about the main character's shady past. And also, the big bad guy rescued his subordinate instead of killing him for failure. So, that's very progressive of him, and I kind of approve. We also get our best mage right here. Although, we will not find out why for a little while yet. So, in Shining Force 1, you got your Bolt Caster uh, maybe three maps before the very end. In this game, you get it before halfway, so that's a that's a difference right there. Although she doesn't learn Bolt immediately, she does master it after gaining some levels. Oh, okay. So we, we found out that the main character is secretly a heroic prince of a country in need of help. I, I don't know how he'll get over the shame of that. No wonder he was keeping that information from us. Well, actually, that's fair. Cyprus is, as far as anyone can tell, um, the bad guy, so I, 
saying, hey, I'm the prince of these guys might not have gone well immediately. Still, um, this may take a while to work out. Well, see you at the start of Chapter 3 next time.